Hi everyone, this is Shannon from the theirishscrapper.com and today I just have another um, card featuring one of our retiring bundles, um, our clubhouse bundle. Um, this is going to be leaving us June 2nd, so it is still available for purchase in my online store. If you do have any golfers in your life, this is a great set. Um, you could actually use this for feminine cards too. Um, you might think of it as masculine when you see some of the papers, but I have seen so many ideas uh, online for females as well. So this is the little project we're going to create. We've done some um, layering here to add some dimension, and it's super cute. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I will show you all the products. So here is the Clubhouse Bundle. Um, you can see here, this is the stamp set. It's got some good sentiments in there as well as images for coloring. And there's a bunch of dies um, that coordinate with these pieces. And then you have a few extras um, as well. So it's a really nice set. We're going to use the Designer Series paper, which is the Country Club um, paper. And um, here are the patterns that we are using. Like I said, there's some Argyle, some um, Plaid, and then some fun... Um, image, you know, decorative uh, layers in there as well. All right, so I have a couple more things. We are using our Layering Alphabet Edgelet dies. These are also in our annual catalog and leaving us um, June 2nd. These are a great, great set of dies um, to do some really fun. You can do your regular letters, but you can also create like a layered look. Um, so a really nice set. We are going to use um, our rectangle stitch shapes um, as well. I'm using the third and fourth size of those rectangles. Mm -hmm. And then I took the word day from A Wish for Everything. And then as far as our colors, um, we're using two ink pads. We're using Smoky Slate and Garden Green today. Um, and then we're also using our Light Smoky Slate um, stamp and blend as well as our light mossy metal all right so let's go ahead our card base is going to be a piece of smoky slate this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so we're just going to give that a nice burnish here i've cut a piece of the designer series paper to four by five and a half and then i'm going to use the larger of the two dies that I picked um, to die cut this. So let's grab, we might as well grab our die cut machine while we're here. All right, so let me grab this. Finally changed up my plates. I know I was taking forever. I had new plates, it's just one of those things. You know, if you don't pull them out when you're thinking about it, you forget and you just keep using them. All right, so let me just kind of make sure I'm straight. I have my magnetic platform in here, which helps. So we are going to run this through. I like to run the rectangles twice just to get a nice cut. Yeah, because sometimes they tend to just stick a little. There we go. All right, so you definitely want to keep this piece as well because you could use this on another project. So there is our one layer. Um, we also need a Whisper White rectangle. So I'm going to use that smaller one. Let's see, do I have enough space there? Uh, that's kind of cutting it close. I think I'll just go here. All right, so let's do that twice as well. Okay, all right, and now we have our letters. So we need our G, we need our L and our F. And for some reason I put those back, so let me hook those out again. All right. And so we are going to lay these down. It kind of wants to turn on me. Use a piece of washi. Uh, this is my G, and here is my L. Okay, and we'll have to do a little bit of trimming because the dies don't fully cut the the letter. 
um, so you just kind of have to help it help it out. So let's get this off of here. Get that washi tape up. Put my dies over there so I don't misplace them. Okay, so you can see here this is still connected. So I'm just going to bring in my, my snips. And it's pretty easy because you can see really where to kind of cut it. Um, of course, the L is a very easy letter. So let's do the L here. We're just going to connect those two cuts. And then the G, you have to do a little bit of rounding. Now, if you weren't using... Um, designer series paper you could totally stamp there's a stamp set that of course coordinates with this you could stamp your letter and then it would be much easier um, to see and trim out okay so now that we have our letters there let's grab our base I'm going to use some of our adhesive strips these are in our catalog as well we're going to Pull one of these out. Oops, my adhesive came off with that. I just have to be careful. So I want to have this come up a little bit. Add some dimension. Go ahead and add our beautiful border to the front of our card. Give that a nice press. Okay, now we'll bring in that little whisper white layer and I'm going to kind of place my letters here just to kind of get a sense of spacing. Because I'm going to take this image from our set and I'm going to stamp that in the smoky slate. So we'll ink that up and then Let's stamp that down. Looks good. And then we're going to grab our liquid glue. This will be the easiest to give us some wiggle room. And get these lined up. All right. And I have the little word. Day that I said I grabbed from A Wish for Everything. I'm going to use my Garden Green ink. We're going to ink that up. And we are going to put that right below our F. And then we're going to take our Smoky Slate Stamp and Blend. This is the light. And we're just going to fill in our ball here a little bit. Just to add a little interest to it. You could even put a little wink of Stella, which would give it a little shine, like a real golf ball. I didn't think of that on my first one. Still time to add it though. So we'll put some gray down there. Let's grab our mossy meadow and let's fill in our grass. pretty good. Let's go ahead now and add some adhesive to the back of this. And we can add that now to the center. Just make sure we get it in there straight. That looks pretty good. I pre-cut a golf club out of our silver foil and I'm just going to add this with a little glue dot to the front as well. So I'm going to put one there on the handle and one down at the bottom of the club. The glue dot fits perfectly in there if you line it up. All right, and then we're going to 
put that here on an angle on the front of our card. And then on the inside, we're going to take our garden green and we are going to stamp um, the other image. Um, You're the Greatest Guy by Par. We're going to do that in the garden green. Make that up nicely. And let's get that in the center. Give it a little press. Looks good. Let's grab a medium whisper white envelope. And we will take our um, golf ball image again. And this time we'll ink it up in the garden green. Just for a little contrast. We'll put that on our lower left corner. And that will complete our card. So you can find a full supply list of all the products that I use today in my online store in the description um, of this video. Again, these products are retiring June 2nd, so if you'd like to grab them, you can pick those up now. Um, any order will receive a handmade thank you as well as a gift from me. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'd be happy to speak with you. So thanks again for watching, and I look forward to being back with you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.